the simulation center um, on the second floor of the medical school building is about 30,000 square feet um, of uh, a GHS regional center for education. Not only do they teach the medical students there, they teach nursing students, pharmacy students, firemen, um, EMTs for the whole region of the upstate of South Carolina. It's unique in a number of ways. First of all, the mannequin side of it, which is the side that's based with dummies um, that actually are high-tech dummies, we can replicate almost any kind of catastrophe that happens to a patient. Um, and the students actually learn then on these mannequins how to take care of almost every problem. And then they can transition over to the other side of the simulation center, which is a standardized patient area, where there are 14 examination rooms that are completely monitored by video so that we can record the sessions and plan back for the students to learn from. And in those areas, we have 200 community volunteers who are trained in how to complain um, about particular kinds of illnesses. And so we may have someone sitting with a patient who all of a sudden complains of chest pain, uh, sitting with a student who all of a sudden complains of chest pain and can replicate all of the signs and symptoms of having a, a myocardial infarction or a heart attack. And the students in that simulated environment learn to respond to that before they actually are sitting with a real patient who has real chest pain and is having a heart attack. So what we envision is when these students, because of their early clinical exposure and their involvement with simulated education and so forth, reach their third year, unlike many medical students, these students will be able to start from day one in the third year being a contributing part of the care delivery team. They won't have to learn how to use um, an electronic medical record because they'll already know how to do that. They won't have to learn how to write a prescription because they'll already know how to do that electronically. And so they'll start out in their third year ahead of many of their contemporaries. As a result of that, we're looking to change the third year curriculum where they spend less time on an individual rotation because it'll all be quality time. And therefore, they'll get to do a lot more rotations and they'll get to be actually exposed to all of the different specialty choices that they might apply to for residency program. And we're hoping we'll be able to make a much better informed career decision as to what they want to do. Then in the fourth year, because they will have, we think, really understand what they want to do, we will give them an immersion experience in the residency program material that they're going to learn so that when they arrive to their residency program, they will be one of the most highly trained interns at that program in the country, uh, which then will allow them in the course of their residency to concentrate on learning that material and becoming an excellent doctor. So in all of this together, what we're seeing, we believe, is that the early clinical exposure will advance them to the point where they actually can see more kinds of things. Um, the size of the hospital system is such that we have all of that immediately available to them and is a huge advantage to them being able to get all of their education here in Greenville.